According to the lawsuit, which was filed yesterday morning, five brothers anonymously listed as John Doe's are suing SU for a million dollars each based on damages from past and future mental anguish and distress, irreparable damage to their reputation, and humiliation. Citrus TV reporter Carmela Boykin has more information on the lawsuit and what it entails. Thanks, guys. The defendants in the case include Chancellor Ken Severud, Assistant Dean and Director of Student Rights and Affairs Pamela Peter, SU Dean of Students Robert Fratsky, and the Dean of College of Engineering and Computer Science Teresa A. Dahlberg. The lawsuit states that the defendants have repeatedly made false statements against members of Theta Tau by labeling them as, quote, racist, anti-Semitic, homophobic, sexist, and hostile to people with disabilities. The suit argues that these statements are false because they do not provide the context that the video is meant to be satire. The skit was part of a Theta Tau tradition called the Rose, which is described as a time-honored chapter tradition that builds unity by satirically and hyperbolically depicting brothers. The lawsuit argues that the video has consistently decontextualized and distorted as part of the university's public relations campaign. The individuals are also suing based on how the, their interim suspension has been handled, as the students were allegedly suspended out of caution and concern for the campus community. However, efforts to help with the plaintiffs with their studies have not been made, and they risk losing some or all of their academic credit from this semester. The statement continuously notes that the suspension is occurring at a crucial time for students, as there are only two weeks left of school. Furthermore, the lawsuit argues that the handling of the quasi-suspension has not followed the Student Handbook Code of Conduct. Part of the case also states that the speech in the skit is protected by the First Amendment. The court case will take place on August 2nd of this year at the U.S. Courthouse here in Syracuse. Connor and Rebecca, back to you.